Okay, let's continue to step four. Step four in hypothesis testing deal with calculation. And in this step, we're gonna compute the p-value, okay? And let's review the concept of p-value again. P-value defined to be under the assumption that H star is true, how likely test statistic behaves at least as extreme as the observed, okay? So under H star is true, we assume mu d is zero. The summer section is useless, okay? And the test statistic is d bar. And the observability of the test statistic, d bar, lowercase, that means an observability, is 1.5, okay? So how are we gonna find the meaning of extreme? Let's go over to this picture, okay? Now, In order to make inference, statistic inference, we need to know the sampling distribution of d bar. And what's d bar? d bar is d1 plus d2 plus all the way up to d6 divided by six. And d bar follow normal. d bar follow normal is not because central limit zero, because central limit zero require larger sample size. Six is definitely too small. Why d bar follow normal? Because we assume d1 up to d6 is a simple random sample from normal population. And d bar follow normal because normality is closed under linear combination. That means normal random variable plus normal random variable will still end up with a normal random variable. And also a constant times a random variable, right? A constant times a normal random variable, still normal. Lucky? Like That's why d bar is normal. So this is normal. The center of the normal distribution, E D bar. E D bar is mu D. Under H not is true, huh, we assume summer sections are useless. Zero. So under H not is true, we expect to see zero. However, the collect data show something different. Okay? We find D1 to D6, six middle manager, their appraisal score differences before and after, right? D bar is 1.5. Under H not is true, what you observe should be close to what you what you expect. This is what you observe, right? From the sixth middle manager, this is what you observe. Observe one. Observe D bar. Okay? It's 1.5. Under H not is true, what you observe should be close to what? What you expect. If what you observe not close what you expect, further deviate from the expectation is called extreme. Like I mentioned in the class before, right? If your boyfriend always say he likes you or he loves you, right? A hundred times walk out with you. 99 times he was busy watching what? The other beautiful girl. That's considered what? Extreme. Are you with me? Under H not is true. What is H not? Your boyfriend likes you or loves you, right? But what's the data you correct? 99 times walk out with you. Uh, 100 times walk out with you. 99 times he was busy watching the other be beautiful girl on the street. That's called extreme. Because that consistent one with H not is true. More consistent with uh, H not is not true, right? You see, under H not is true, 1.5 should be close to zero. But if you find the evidence is 1.5 or even bigger, it look like what? The summer section is really what? Helpful. Therefore, there's a big difference. Can you see that? So this kind of data support what? H9 is not true. Under H9 is true, the data support H8 is true, is what we call what? P-value. So P-value is what? This upper tail here, okay? Upper tail here. And our next job is to find the size of the shady area. How can we find the size of the shady area? Let's give you a very detailed discussion, okay? Look at the picture here. In order to find what? The upper tail probability. Our first step is standardize D bar, okay? And standardization goes this way. You subtract by the mean of this variable and then divide it by what? The standard deviation. Now, E D bar, is mu d. Variance d bar is what? Sigma d squared over n. But the problem is, 
If you simplify it, it's what? Sigma t over square root n. But in the real life application, we don't know what sigma t, so we replace by what? Sd. After this replacement, huh? it's no longer z, it becomes what? It becomes p. Are you with me? So let's plug in the number. Under h naught is true, mu d is 0. Sd, we calculated before, is 5.612, and sample size is 6. So standardization goes this way. d bar subtract 0 divided by 5.612 over square root of 6. So same thing. 1.5 minus 0, mu d, under h naught true is 0. Then divided by 5.612 over square root of 6. And this gives what? 0 0.655. So, t with 5 degree of freedom, greater or equal to 0 0.655, that is this area here, okay? To find the size of this area, we need to use what? We need to use t table, okay?